Alright, this is Matt from the Common Hall Roundtable Discussion, and I'm with Mike Wagner. And where are you from? Nashville, Tennessee. What's the name of your show? Epic City Comics. Alright, Epic City Comics. Another Southern boy. <laughs> you had a lot of Comic Con. You enjoy yourself, man? Absolutely. Great, great, great. So, everybody's looking for something. You know, everybody's looking for deals. Mm -hmm. Everybody's trying to collect. You, you spent about a good 45 minutes to hours talking about oh, yeah. books. What are some books that people who are looking to get in and on the ground level? And what should they start with? As far as like some old stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it, pretty much a lot of the bronze stuff and going into the top range seems to be real popular. And I'm proud to and happy to say that there are a lot of kids that are getting into the bronze, which is stuff I grew up reading. Well, you know, we just talked to some guys. That's why you turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, any of the symbiote Spider-Man stuff, that's that people are always looking to find. Because, of course, it led into Venom. All these kids only know Venom, but they're realizing now, hey, there was something before Venom. Yeah. So they're looking at that stuff. Um, interestingly enough, they're, uh, a lot of these kids are interested in Jack Kirby. You hear a lot of stuff like that from them. So, you know, I turn them on, try to turn them on to some Fantastic Four, uh, Captain America, Tales of Suspense, and stuff like that. You said Fantastic Four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We go back five years ago. Yeah. Fantastic Four. Yeah. It's usually a joke. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. I've been here to show and you just see. It's like people are, are buying these books. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're buying yeah. them. Now. Yeah. And, and there's a, there's a Catch-22 with stuff that's starting to get hyped like with Fantastic Four all the talk about a, a real movie as opposed to what we've gotten before um, and I always tell these kids you know if there were no Fantastic Four we wouldn't have Marvel now, really. and so you know they're literally Marvel's first family um, so yeah I turn them on to that they're particularly interested especially after the success of the Black Panther film they're interested in that you know 53 and 54 and uh, so you know, you're looking at that. Too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 48 and 49. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, the whole, the whole, you know, that Galactus trilogy, 48 through 50. And then, you know, it kicks in with the Black Panther stuff. Um, so, it, we've got a lot of interest in that. Um, we get a lot, a lot of interest in Ms. Marvel because of Captain Marvel. Um, and then there's, uh, there was some, some Ant-Man interest. But, and of course, the X-Titles are always, Everybody's still looking at Wolverine. Everybody's still looking at X-Men. So those are the things that we typically hear. Y'all have any X-Men. And then, of course, the perennial Spider-Man. Everybody's crazy about Spider-Man. Let's not forget about DC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I love them both, but yeah, Harley Quinn is always... There's always somebody asking for Harley Quinn. And, of course, Batman. Uh, yeah, uh, Big Blue doesn't get his respect like he used to with Superman. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but people are also very interested in Captain Marvel Shazam. Um, they're looking at that a lot. They're asking about that a lot. Uh, with all the CW shows for a while, you know, the Green Arrow stuff was pretty hot. It's cooled off. Flash is still pretty interesting to a lot of people. Um, but, you know, and we do hear, of course, a lot of DC stuff. You know, we've got a killing joke up there. Um, and that's still, you know, what people are crazy about. And rightly so, it's a great book. But probably, I would say almost 75% of what we get in our booth at any given time, people are looking for Marvel stuff. Yeah. And uh, I started being nothing but a Marvel guy. I love both companies, but equally That's now. the guy behind the camera, y'all. Yes. Everybody heard that. <laughs> y'all yeah. know who that is behind the Everybody camera. Everybody heard that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, the Spider-Man stuff, uh, you know, but you know what, you know, you mentioned Spider-Man, and I was talking with our local comic guy back home last night, and I was telling him that you can buy the first 50, well, I mean, you can afford the first, you know, the first, first time, uh, the, the Spider-Man, and you pretty much guarantee that it's going to go up in value. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just off of the age and, of course, the Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, and it's great to know, too, that with the... Cinematic universe, you know, they throw up there towards the end of the credits, the creators, and so a lot of these kids are seeing Steve Ditko for the first time, yeah. and they're getting turned on by his early quirkier stuff. Yeah. Not, I, I mean, I love Johnny Romita stuff. I grew up reading and looking at Johnny Romita. When I found yeah. Ditko, Ditko's Ditko art is something. It's like his covers are so good. Oh yeah, and they're they're quirky. They're a little bit more real man yeah. stuff. Um, 
you know, let's face it, Romina made everybody a fashion model. Yeah. Uh, and they look great, and I love it. But that Ditko stuff, man. So yeah, yeah. People are looking for that. Thing. So, and and that's great. And it's not only I'm not only thrilled about it because you know we're able to make a good dime off of it, but I'm thrilled about it because people are seeing the value of the earlier stuff. That you know, I mean, these guys that are doing books today, great artists, great writers, they're standing on the shoulders of giants when it comes to Kirby and Ditko and Romita Senior, all those early guys like that. I'm just digging that people are starting to get into that and give it the due respect that it's needed. This is, is this your first year? Uh, no, we did uh, we did the show last. Okay, all right. So, well, for this year, we were talking. This seems like this is a better show. It feels this like year, it. Yeah, it feels like it. Feels like and that's not a knock on last year. No, it was the first first show, but it yeah. just feels like there's a much better atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, uh, this, this year. Yeah, and it feels that way to us too. And I talked to some of our buddies with the past couple of years we've been doing this. They feel the same way. It's got a, it's got a good feel to it. You know, there's a nice rush of people running through. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And this morning, there's people cheering as they were walking in. That was so, yeah. That was in my yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it was good. It's, it's been a good show. Too. So we even have a good Friday yesterday. Excellent. Man. That's good. So where can people find it? Um, we are on Facebook, Epic City Comics. Um, we keep most of our inventory as a PDF, even. So if you're looking for something. We can, really we, cool. we can email that to you and you can flip through and see what we have. Do you, do you open this? Andy is, Andy's the, he's the money bags and the guy behind it. <laughs> I'm the knowledge guy. Um, so, uh, but we, we make a good team. We've known each other. We've met in art school over 30 years ago. What's your study in art? Uh, I did graphic yeah, I'm a photographer. I'm in the sign business full time. Cool. But yeah, so yeah, sign business. So, uh, <laughs> But yeah, um, so yeah, we've been doing this for about three years now, and thoroughly, still thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. And uh, have a blast, meet nice guys like all you, um, all the time. We've only had a couple of nasty customers, but that's going to happen. It's going to happen. But yeah, we, we love it. We got to know, you know, Omario back over here. We've known him now for a little bit. And, uh, but yeah, we're still having a good time. Sweet. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Hey, Al, he has on an Alpha Flight shirt. Yeah, I was going to bring yeah, it up. Yeah. He has on an Alpha Flight, so yeah. he's a good man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>